The next singer we're meeting tonight is the one from Malta. Um, Malta is represented by Ira Losko. It's not a typical uh, English name. It's it, it, maybe it's Maltese. Not really. It's actually Italian. Italian. Yep. Are you forefathers from Italy or? Um... Um, well, I think great great grandfathers, but we're all Maltese. Yeah. And um, you were chosen by the Maltese people to pr represent Malta in Eurovision with the song Seventh Wonder. Yes, yes exactly. Um, there were seven um, foreign judges and three televoting juries. So. I've seen your video clip yeah. and I, I thought uh, that the guy you, who played the role was your real lover because no. you look like <laughs> so in love. No, no, he's a good friend of mine ah. who also happens to be um, a footballer oh, yes. in, uh, in Malta, plays with a team, Floriana, and we decided to use him as the seventh wonder. Um, when I heard uh, your song firstly, I must say it reminded me a little bit like ABBA. Yeah. With the, the, the part before the, the refrain comes, it sounds a little bit like um, ABBA in a way, don't you think so? Um, well, I, I never really realized that, but um, I guess, I don't know, then it will go down well. ABBA won, won, so I don't know, maybe that would be good. The, ne the Maltese have never succeeded uh, in the Eurovision, but um, do you think, that, do you have a chance this year? Well, um, the best we've ever done was um, third, twice, so that was good enough for us, but we'd love to go further than third place. Um, I'll just try my luck, try my best, and then we'll see. You come from such a sunny island where it's always warm. Are you a little bit uh, frozen here uh, in Tallinn? Well, it's not really as cold as I thought it would be. Oh. I've been to colder countries. Oh. It's it's okay. I mean, the sun is shining in the morning, obviously, <laughs> not now. Um, and I just wear a heavy coat on me, so I'm fine. But Valletta is also a very uh, medieval city, which is a lot of old buildings. And so you yes. may feel a little bit home here in Tallinn, in the old part of the town. Um, actually, I haven't had much time to go around yet because I've just arrived today at four o'clock. So, and then I had rehearsal and I just came straight here. But tomorrow we'll have a uh, walk in Old Stalin and I'll, I guess I'll, I'll have a look and see what it's like. And can you tell me the secret? What is the seventh wonder? Well, um, the seventh wonder is really open to interpretation. It could be your loved one or it could be like anything you'd like it to be. And that's that's what we're trying to, to do with the song. A to as many people as possible and uh, whatever their seventh wonder might be they, they will relate to the song wow. tomorrow is your first uh, rehearsal are you a little bit excited especially for saturday um i guess i'll be really excited on saturday um i don't know about the rest of tomorrow i guess i'll be a bit excited it will be my first time on stage but i feel i'm quite prepared so yeah that's good to come to the conclusion, would it be possible to sing us a little refrain? Yeah, okay. Is it good? Is it bad? Am I simply going mad? Is it fiction or fact? Am I really losing tack? Is it magical, logical, natural? I wonder. He's got the makings of my seventh wonder. Wow, that's great. Thank you have a great you. voice, Thank even if it's very loud here Thank you. in the know. National Opera tonight. The first day of Eurovision. Well, thank you very much. The best of luck and uh, have a nice time here, Charlie. I will. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>